did you ever push your car? Push. Uh, no, I mean uh, accelerate faster. Of course, I'm uh, ambitious again. That's what you do. This is why they call you the flying seeker. Well, if you don't Same fly, you don't win. Well, if you don't Same fly, you don't win. Well, if you don't Same fly, you don't win. Brought up all the cooking, nutty, bought it for the time. My sister had another one, she paid it for the lime. She put the lime in the cooking, now she drank and pulled up. She put the lime in the cooking, now she drank and pulled up. She put the lime in the cooking, now she drank and pulled up. She put the lime in the cooking, now she called the doctor, woke him up and said, Doctor, ain't there nothing I can take? I said, Doctor, to relieve his belly ache. I said, now let me get this straight. Put the lime in the coconut to drag and pour up. Put the lime in the coconut to drag and pour up. Put the lime in the coconut to drag and pour up. Put the lime in the coconut to call the doctor. Woke him up, said doctor. Ain't there nothing I can take? I said doctor. To relieve his belly ache, I said doctor. Ain't there nothing I can take? I said, Doctor, to relieve his belly ache. You put the lime in the coconut to drink and pour together. Put the lime in the coconut and you feel better. Put the lime in the coconut, drink and pour up. Put the lime in the coconut and call me in the morning. mixture of brown, black, white and yellow, all waiting to see the start of the toughest rally in the world, the East African Safari. And 104 cars, piloted by some of the world's greatest rally stars, prepare to tackle 3,080 of the most vicious miles in motorsport. From this ramp, they head into four nights and three days of nightmare driving. Along the twisty roads that circle Mount Kenya, across the equator into Uganda, to wind round the dust-laden trails of Mount Elgin to Kampala. There to turn and rush through the night back to Nairobi. An afternoon's rest and they press southwards into Tanganyika, past the snow-capped heights of Kilimanjaro into the game country and the dreaded mud traps of Mbulu. Day breaks as the cars head towards Dodoma, Morogoro and on for a short rest at Dar es Salaam. North again, past the coconut palms that fringe the Indian Ocean, to Mombasa and the final dusty run into Nairobi. In all, more than 3,000 miles of road and track with almost indescribable surfaces. You put the lime in the coconut to drink and pour together. Put the lime in the coconut and you feel better. Put the lime.
lime in the coconut, drink and pour up. Put the lime in the coconut and call me in the morning. About the route this year, is it uh, a difficult route or? It is going to be a very hard one, yes, sure. Harder than ever before? Yes. What, why is that? Well, they have uh, added about a thousand kilometers to the route and uh, it goes into the worst parts of Kenya. And now the rains have started, I think it's going to be rather dicey. Three times winner Jaginder Singh tries to avoid it too, but gets into uncharacteristic difficulties. <laughs> out from Nairobi, Uganda Singh was already in trouble with his gearbox. Every minute late in Mombasa meant a penalty point, and this trouble lost him valuable time. We couldn't get any gear except the worst. We took the uh, gear lever off and just couldn't do anything, so we backed, reversed about uh, just over six kilometers back to the main road. We took the gearbox out, stripped it, repaired it, put it back, and it cost uh, four, uh, just over four hours. As Singh reversed four miles back to his service crew and a four-hour gearbox change, the Range Rover of Sprinzel sped past, heading for Mombasa, an even bigger problem.
personal triumph. He is the first driver to win the safari three times. For Mitsubishi, it meant the team prize for a second year. And with only 17 finishes, the safari's reputation was safe as the world's toughest rally.